Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 k Ops Killer again. All right, so here's what happened. Uh, I made a mistake when I was originally uh, downloading the uh, link. Uh, the link was sent to me by one of my friends on Facebook, and apparently he made a mistake. Uh, it, he gave me the wrong link. He gave me the link from a June of 2017 open beta, okay? And I didn't look at it. I didn't examine it. I just downloaded it like a jackass. And then I tried to, uh, you know, read it through my USB uh, thumbstick through a OPPO via USB. And it didn't work. <clears throat> and I was like, why is it not working? You know, uh, but Dirty Sprite tried it. My friend Dirty Sprite, he tried it and it works for him. I was like, well, what's going on? This doesn't make any sense. So anyway, what happened is I compared two links. I was giving two links. I was given a link by a my friend Martin Poggi through Facebook. And then I was also giving another link by my friend uh, Dirty Sprite via YouTube. So I compared both of the links and I examined both of the links. One link was from June of 2017, which is the beta test that's not being supported anymore and that's the one that I was using and that's why it didn't work because I was using the old uh, link that was given to me. I didn't check it because I thought it was the correct link but once I compared both links I realized the one that Dirty Sprite gave me it's the latest one it's the one that was released a few days ago January 26th. So it was just a confusion this was, I'm not putting any blame on anybody. This was my mistake. Uh, I only have myself to blame. I should have double checked. You know, like a jackass, I just clicked on it and I downloaded it. I should have double checked. You know, I was under the impression that uh, the correct link was given to me. I, in the future, guys, do me a favor. When you send me links, please do double check. You know, double check and make sure it's a correct latest update. Uh, this way, I don't have to go jump through hoops and then do it myself. Uh, again, I should have double checked before I did it. I should have gone through the whole thing and look at it. This is still my mistake. You know, it doesn't matter if he gave me the wrong link. I should have looked at the, uh, the date when the, uh, update was released. I should have looked at it and should have seen that it's not the latest one. So anyway, big thanks to, uh, Dirty Sprite for sending me the correct link, obviously. And Martin Poggy, thank you, man. I appreciate it that you uh, also let me know and did your best to, to let me know that there is an update. But you made a mistake. You gave me the uh, the wrong the wrong link. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. You know, it happens. Uh, it's okay. Still, it was my fault. I should have double checked and look and see uh, the number of the uh, UDP. I don't want you guys to feel bad. I'm not going, I'm not pointing fingers here at anybody. This was my mistake. You know, like a jackass, I should have double checked. I should have looked and see, but I didn't, you know. So it was still my mistake. You know, when you open the letter, you need to look and see, okay, where is this coming from? What's the expiration date? Yada, yada, yada. I should have double checked that. All right. I cannot blame the mailman. Hey, mailman, why didn't you check and make sure that this is the correct uh, information inside? No, it's not his fault. It's my fault. I should have double-checked, so this is my fault. I just want to address that. I don't want you guys to feel bad. This is my mistake and my only mistake. So <laughs> so there's this is the new update. There it is. As you can see it right here, it's all there. Okay. And... Uh, we can look at the source credits and we'll find out uh, exactly that it was released. Hold on. It's, uh, hold on a second. Uh, well, this is just the, the, the people who worked on it, so it's not important. But trust me, this is the correct version. This is the version that was released on... Uh, January 26th and I'm gonna leave a link down below uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna give you guys the correct link so when you are watching this video when you go down below 
that will be the correct link. You can just ignore my previous video, my previous two videos. You can shit on them. You can ignore them. Uh, this is the one that's correct. So the link will be down below. And uh, that's the correct link. The one that's down below on a description is the correct link. All right. And big thanks to uh, Dirty Sprite. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for uh, sending me the correct link, you know. So, yeah, in the future, guys, again, do me a favor. Next time you, you send me something, please do double check, you know, because I'm very busy, man. Sometimes I don't have time to go through all of it. I expect you to give me the, the correct link. Uh, so before you copy and paste, double check, make sure it's the latest update, you know, so that way I don't have to go through these hoops. But at the end of the day, it was still my mistake. I should have double checked, okay, and I didn't. Now, let's go on. Let's go check this uh, update really quick. But before we do, let me show you the that this is the correct version right here. All right. As you can see, there it is. This is the latest public beta test release. Okay. And it says right here, uh, uh, January, January 26th of 2018. So this is the latest one. Okay. And it has the same name, UDP20X560124B. And there it is right here. You can see it. UDP20X560124B. UDP20X560124B. So that's the latest one. That's the one you need to get. That's the version right there, okay? So, look. At the end of the day, this was my mistake. But I will send the link down below for you guys to download the correct uh, latest beta versions. All right, so let's go ahead uh, and uh, close the, uh, the tray for Blade Runner. Let's put it in and let's see what type of options we have available with this new beta right here. Okay, let's go. let's go check it out. There's the uh, Warner. There's Blade Runner. I guess uh, we'll select some scenes over here really quick. Uh, we're going to check them out. I'm going to... I'm going to move to some like really good scenes over here. Uh, I'm trying to find a really good scene. And then we're going to pause it. We'll go check it out really quick. All right, so one of the cool options here that you have on this uh, beta update is when you press A and B, A and B to repeat on the Blade Runner, you also have the option to use a slow motion. Like uh, how fast do you want this character to move? You know, here I will show you. You see, he's moving slowly. He's moving a little bit faster now, but we can go ahead and we can uh, click right here to pause it and, and slow him down here. As you will see, hold on, right here. You first you click the pause, and then you click uh, move forward a little bit here. As you will see, and it's going uh, a little bit slower, a little bit faster. Now the motion's getting a little bit better here. So this is kind of cool to use this option right here. See now we can go a little bit faster, or we can go rewind. And go slower so you pause it and then uh, hold on a second right here and we can do the same thing here all you have to do is put it on a and B you put it on a and B and then you hit pause and when you hit pause on a and B then all you have to do is click forward which is right over here you click forward uh, here I'll show you you click forward. First, you hit A and B, which is right over here. You A and B. You uh, you select the scene you want to uh, repeat, and then you click pause, and then you click forward slowly, which I'm going to show you right here in a minute, so you guys can see it. And then you hit forward slowly, and we'll see this in a slow motion, the way Harrison Ford is beating the shit out of uh, Ryan Gosling. I heard he really hit him here. <laughs> 
Then we can go a little bit faster. Okay. And then it's going to hit him again. And it's going to hit him again and again. And it's going to hit him a little bit faster this time. And again. There. <laughs> so this is kind of a cool feature to use. Uh, I don't know, if you, if you want to crop something or whatever, it's kind of cool. So I like this feature. You know, you can adjust the slow motion on like uh, how you want to see it. I think he really hit him here. Hold on. I think he really did. Look. He definitely did. He definitely did. There. So I like this feature. This is a cool feature. I definitely uh, dig this. So this is something that's new on this Oppo that they did, which I really like that they did this. It definitely uh, adds to the uh, some more cool features that you can do with the Oppo, especially if you want to examine a scene. You can also stretch the picture to look at it a little bit better, to look at all this detail a little bit better like this here. You can do that as well. All right. So let's look what else is new. Uh, the HDR should be another feature uh, that's implemented into this uh, player. Standard HDR and HDR, which I'm going to use right now. Uh, right now I have the forced. And then we're going to use a uh, off. This is the off. HDR settings and you can see uh, I'm missing a bunch of deep dark levels. I'm missing a bunch of color and once I turn it back on you will see that uh, I'm getting more better deep dark levels and I'm getting the uh, the color a little bit better here Or you can leave it on automatic uh, Let's see what else we have here Or leave it on off well, we, we'll keep it on. Uh, we'll keep it on forced because this is the one I suggest how many nits I want. But for the everyday use, I would say keep it on automatic. Honestly, for everyday use, keep it on automatic. Let's see what else is new. Let's go to the home menu. Uh, right here. Hold on a second. Uh, it's right here. Let's go to, to the home menu. Let's see what else is new. Let's go check it out. Let's look at the setup. Uh, let's look at the uh, video output. It's all custom. Let's see what they have here for HDR settings. Uh, HDR to standard mode, mode 1. Uh, let's put it to... Uh, Let's try all of these first. Let's try. Let's try HDR to HDR mode, mode one. Let's try that first. And then we're going to see how it looks. Okay, let's go click on the Blu ray disc right here. All right, let's do that. So this is HDR to SDR mode. Um, This is right now HDR on, but let's let's turn it off. Let's see. Uh, it still looks good. It still looks good, but uh, I can see that my deep dark levels are crushed because I turned it off. As soon as I turned it back on, I see that the HDR came back, and I can see more detail. But uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to home and uh, let's uh, hit the uh, different types of uh, HDR to SDR modes. There is another one right here. Hold on. With the output, let's go to the HDR settings. Uh, there's a mode. Mode 2, optimize the preserve a balance between highlights and shadow detail. Okay, let's do that because that scene has a lot of shadow, so let's go check it out. Let's keep it in mode 2. Uh, 
let's uh, exit and then let's go click continue we'll continue where we left off and yes I can see that the uh, the shadows are much more accurately preserved here it looks much better so uh, now you have different types of HDR modes that you can choose here from uh, and definitely it definitely helps you know now let's go try a different scene hold on a second let's go try a different scene so here we are in a different scene over here in the movie and uh, yeah I can definitely see the colors pop here on the HDR for sure uh, let's uh, use the forced one that's the one that I selected here yeah, I definitely see the shadows are being much more improved here on the one that I chose. This is the mode 2, uh, HDR to SDR. This one improves the shadow a little bit here. Automatic one, uh, the shadows are okay. You guys cannot see that through a camera, but uh, I definitely see it. So there's different types of uh, HDR modes that they have implemented. Here, let me show you again. Let me go back here. Let's go to the uh, home menu. So you do have that A and B uh, slow motion, which is kind of cool if you want to re-examine the scene, if you want to check it out. Uh, I like that. I like the fact that they have that, uh, which is right over here. Uh, and you also have different types of uh, HDR settings. Like I said, you have mode 2, mode 1, and you also have a mode 3 which is optimized to preserve a balance between mid-tone and highlight details. And then you got mode 4, which is optimized to preserve the most shadow details. Uh, which one should you leave? Uh, it's up to you, honestly. Uh, I would go with this one. I would go with the uh, balance between highlight and shadow details. Okay, because uh, that's what you want. You want to highlight uh, very bright scenes to be popping with color. But at the same time, you want to preserve the shadow details as well. Okay, so I would leave it on the mode 2. Uh, so let's see what else there is. Uh, and you have that A and B option to... Uh, slow motion certain scenes on a and b so that way you can re-examine a certain scene if you want to so that's a kind of cool uh option as well but there you have it that's the uh the new update like i said i made a mistake you know i should have looked at both links to double check but i didn't uh once i double checked both links then i realized one link was the older version and the other link from Dirty Sprite was the latest version from January 26th. So anyway, it works. Thank you, Dirty Sprite. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for this update. Uh, it's definitely a welcome addition for OPPO users. Uh, having an extra options and features definitely adds to the uh, more versatile experience of this uh, 4K player. Also, using the option on A and B to slow motion, to slow mo certain uh, frames and check certain things also comes in handy. So all of this stuff adds to a uh, value of Oppo UDP 203 and just shows you why this uh, 4K player is highly uh, acclaimed. All right, so there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, big thanks to Dirty Sprite. I appreciate it. All right, guys. Have a good one, though. Take care. Ignore the other two videos. That was me. That was my mistake. I should have double-checked. There you have it. I'll leave a link down below so you can download it and get it running, too. Thank you.